Hello everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I wanted to sit down and discuss three of the latest sort of tinted SPF offerings on the Integrity Botanicals website. It's sort of been all I'm wearing. If you're new here, I really like to sort of obviously love to get my SPF in, but I like to let the concealer do the heavy lifting and then have everything on the skin be really, really lightweight. The older I get, I find that I like the way that sits on my skin the most, and then I can really zero in on the problem areas. Um, but what's great about these tinted SPF offerings now is that they usually help aid in just an overall evenness of the skin tone, give it maybe a little bit of warmth, a little bit of color, a little bit of life, in addition to that SPF factor. So I absolutely have been loving them, but quite a few have come out. So I wanted to sit down, share with you maybe the differences, a lot of similarities and help you track down which one might be the best for you. I'm going to start with the one that I've spoken about the most extensively. I do have a full dedicated video to this so that you could dive a little bit deeper. And this is the RMS Supernatural Radiance Serum. Some stats on this guy. This one is an SPF of 30. There are three different shades in this lineup. We've got like a light, a medium, and a dark. And it is formulated with non-nano zinc oxide. There's 20.4%. It's one fluid ounce and $48. So that is going to be in the middle here, price point wise. Now what sets this one apart, and this is what I really wanted to share out some of the contrasting aspe aspects to these, is that this is formulated with a Glowplex. So their Glowplex is a complexion soft focus technology. There's peptides, there's niacinamide that give a almost soft focus blur to the skin. Now I did apply this in comparison to the Agent Natura on one side of my face and we will get there because I wanted to share that with you. Though they do not have coverage per se. These are not like full coverage, you're ready to go. There is a soft focus property that like makes the most amazing base for your skin. So if you're not like me and you, I like, I'll put a lot of concealer after this. I'll go concealer here, here, around the nose, chin. If there's spots, boom, boom, boom. Those are getting it as well. If you really needed to chisel out the cheek, I would take it up on my cheek as well. I've got two spots of hyperpigmentation. I like to try to conceal as well. And that is what I will do with all of these. So if you are looking for a ton of coverage, this is not the place, but if you are looking for a good everyday SPF factor that has a blurring property that does not pill, so it makes it for a really great base underneath makeup, then the RMS is absolutely the direction I would go. Three different shades here, like I said. I even love the Rich Aura used as like bronzing drops on the skin. I really enjoy the tones that RMS has put out, so I really appreciate that. But one interesting thing I will say is the packaging on all of these is not like it's chippy like I get the little um it, it rubs off on my hands and that is just from taking it everywhere with me and sitting in the drawer and blah 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 so another little added piece now moving along to the one that I also spoke about this one is going to be best for people with dry skin this is Agent Natur this is their holy sun dewy tinted dew drops um, skin drops, I'm sorry. Now this one is an SPF of 50, which is great. Any increase in that factor, I'm here for. We've got four different shades on this front, a little bit wider range. And this is also formulated with a non-nano zinc oxide at 12%. You're also getting one fluid ounce here at $58. Um, so again, packaging, it's chippy, but this one has a pipette applicator. The others have a squeezy bottle, which I enjoy both. I think that these are both really easy. I use the shade almonds. Um, this one has the most radiant finish. And because it doesn't have that glowplex or more velvety texture, like the next one I'm going to talk to you about, I think your skin shows through the most with this one. So this one is going to be a really amazing base. It is another one. They all do a great job at just sort of blending into nothing. It feels so weightless on the skin. I really love that. I think it helps it from sitting in fine lines and wrinkles as well because it's not, there's not a whole lot of product to move 
around you know what I mean um they all wear very evenly because they are not like coverage foundations as well which is something I also appreciate and they're also very easy to reapply so this one is going to have the most radiant finish it's going to have the most translucent sort of property to it as well but I do love this but I think this makes for a really amazing layering candidate and is great for those of you who really like a radiance to the skin this is either a great first step or again do it like I do and just wear it on its own. And then finally, we've got the Babo Daily Sheer Fluid SPF 50. Um, this one is an SPF 50, as I just stated. This one only has one shade. So it is one sort of medium tone shade. Um, what's good about this is like, since these are all mineral sunscreens that are formulated with zinc, those can often leave a white cast. So any sort of color in these products, even if it does not exactly match your skin, it, it sort of levels out. You'll see like even almond is a very yellow tone shade in the Agent Natur. And when I blend it in, it sort of adapts to my skin tone. And it's because again, not a foundation. The shade match does not need to be bang on. But if you have very, very light skin or very, very deep skin, this is something I would consider. This one probably isn't the best bet for you, I would do the Agent Natur or RMS who have a little bit more variety there. Um, but this is also formulated with zinc oxide at 20.6% and you were getting 1.7 fluid ounces here for $21.95. So it's going to be the most cost effective option. What's great about this one as well is that it is, um, fragrance free. So this is going to be amazing for anyone with sensitive skin. This one I would recommend sensitive skin on a budget this is the one what's great is if you're not looking for something tinted they have just a regular one so you don't have to worry about it matching or looking any type of way but i will say anytime it's a high spf factor with zinc it is going to take a minute to work into the skin though this has a more velvety almost dry oil not oil i don't want to say oil because that's going to put some of you off but it is that sort of texture it's a lot more velvety. It's almost like demi matte as opposed to the Agent Natur. And these are like really subtle differences, you guys. This is me trying it and, you know, using a lot of these on an every single day basis. So I do just want to highlight that. They all have a common trait of being incredibly light coverage incredibly like again they're not foundations um but in turn they are also super super lightweight and all mineral spf so i would recommend any single one of these i wanted to sort of break down the stats compare them i'll put ingredients list down below as well you will notice some similarities some differences as you always do but the F spf factor that is active in here is going to be all the same. So we've got a great sensitive budget option, we've got a good dry skin option, and then we sort of got an in-between if you're looking for something more blurring, more pore minimizing, that's gonna be the RMS. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If there's any questions, I wanted this to be more general, and then please feel free to ask any more specific questions that you have down below. I just noticed a little trend here with these being released, so I want to take the time to sit down and discuss them, especially because I've been loving them so much, and I wanted to sort of give this last little, I feel like we talk about SPF like a particularly strong amount in the summer, of course. It's hot, you don't wanna wear a lot on the skin, um, but these are all great foundational items as well, so I wanted to stress that. So don't forget to wear your SPF, all of these are available right here, right now. I'm going to link them down below for you, as well as some more information. Please, if you have any questions for me, you guys, do not hesitate to ask. My skin type, I should have said this at the top of the video, is a normal to dry skin type. So the RMS is my favorite of these three, the one that I am reaching for the most often, but I do need to mix the light and the medium to get my sort of perfect shade. So do bear that in mind. But I'll link that extensive video down below. I will link direct links to these products down below as well so that way you could check it out. And while you're down there, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a big thumbs up, subscribe. I do upload new videos here every single week and I don't want you guys to miss them. I do hope that you found this helpful. If there's any other comparison videos you'd like me to do, sound off in the comment section down below. Would love to hear from you. And then make sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Check us out on all of our socials. We're everywhere. More information. November's an exciting month, you guys. We do our annual Black Friday gift, and I can't wait to talk more about that as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of the consistent love and support. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.